Okay, I'm going to walk you through a repair on a 2006 Chevrolet Equinox. It was hitting the back and the front. First thing we'll do is take it all apart, remove the lift gate, trim panels, rear bumper and tail lights. Put the new lift gate on so that we can check our alignments as we go. Gonna put a quick pull on the reinforcement uh, just to get the bumper off. The holes in the reinforcement didn't line up with the bolts that hold it on. So I'm just pulling it to get it off. At the same time pulling the rails out a little bit. Now we're gonna put a little pull on the opening. Pinch welds were rolled up from when it got hit. Just pulling them back down and pulling them out. We don't have to get this perfect because we're going to change all this anyway. We're just getting it close for now. Check our alignment. Look good. So now we're going to cut out some of the bigger pieces. Just an air chisel. Taking out the Majority of the pieces, we'll drill the spot welds out later. Saws all to get the bigger pieces out. Then we're going to pull the top of the frame rail, which is actually the floor. Uh, it was rolled in at the top a little bit. There were some small buckles on the outside of the frame rail, so we're Hammering those out right now. Getting that frame rail all nice and straight. Uh, we're gonna do the same thing to the top of the frame rail, which again is the actually the floor. Now we're drilling out all the spot welds and the pieces we cut out with the sawzall and the air chisel. Using a propane torch to heat up the uh, seam sealer, make it a little softer, easier to take out. And we're going to drill off the rest of the pieces. And we're getting that floor a little bit straighter. Spreading out the rail, flattening it out, getting in all the kinks out of it. Now we're going to weld the floor back down to the rail. Uh, it pulled a couple of the spot welds out when it got hit. Now we're trimming out some pieces. Didn't like where the opening was there, so I pulled that out a little bit. Fit the tail light a little better. And we're going to trim out the rest of the pieces in there. Put our weld through primer on there and get it all ready for the new piece. Put a friction jack in there to spread it apart, make it a little easier just to slide that up in there. And in order to get this piece in, I actually have to go up and in. I have to go about half an inch higher than it is supposed to be and then drop it down because there's pieces on the top of the rail that actually slide in between other panels. It looks pretty easy in the video, but this took about an hour to get that piece in there. There you go. I was standing on it to push it down in there. I'm lining up the holes in the rails, bolting it in. Just adjusting everything, make sure it fits. Let me like all our gaps, so now we can start clamping it up. Get ready to weld. You've all seen me weld, we'll go pretty quick through this. Now I'm going 
to put that other outer panel on. I had to take that off so I could get to six welds that were inside the piece that I put on. The only way to access them would be either take all the panels apart or take that one outside piece off. So I picked that. It was the easiest. I'm just going to weld that on. Now we're going to do the front end, take it all apart. Pull the bumper reinforcement out a little bit. There's a couple of brackets at the end of the frame rails that were bent in from the reinforcement. So I'm just hammering those straight. Just like the rear, the bolt holes didn't line up on the outside so instead of pulling this one I just cut it out so I could get access to those holes. I'm going to go a little bit further on this bracket. Check our fit. Looks good. Remove the condenser so that it's out of the way for painting. Now we got it all painted, we're going to change the radiator. Both the radiator and condenser were still good. Uh, they were both full, but they did have some bends in them, and rather than risking problems later on, I just changed them. Put the reinforcement on, a wiring harness. Now we're back to the back end. It's all painted. Just going to put it back together. put some of the tailgate together. We're going to put the back window in. This is the primer for the urethane. Now I'm going to put the urethane on. And I'll set the glass in. You only get one shot at that, so line it all up. When we got it where we want it, I'm going to tape it all in so the glue can set up. Your thing. The rest of the trim panel together. Rear wiper on. Check to make sure it works. And there you go. It's all done. I didn't have the video of putting the rest of the front bumper on or the inner trim panels. I did that on a day when I didn't have the camera. Sorry about that. But as you can see, I did put it back together, so it's all done. The comments you guys leave me help me out a lot. In addition to telling me what I've done right and what I've done wrong, it gives me ideas for new videos, and it tells me areas that I need to address. And one of the areas that I need to address is correct repair procedures. In here, what I realized is that a lot of viewers and people in general just assume that when you have, got some props here, when you have a car, you just cut off the bad stuff, take the new stuff, butt it together, and weld it up. That is not the case. That's not how it works. It's actually more like panels are put together like this. You drill out your spot welds. Take each panel apart, okay? Then when your new parts go together, you just put them back in, weld up all your holes if it was used parts. If it's new parts, you either use them for a backing and weld the holes you've drilled out or punch new holes and uh, weld them up. I'm going to make a video using actual metal, but hopefully that gives you an idea of what I'm kind of talking about and the difference between a proper repair and an improper repair. One of my viewers sent me a link to a car that was repaired with the, the old kind of just button things together and weld them up. And it was on a big section of the car. I don't know if they thought they were doing something amazing, 
Uh, but all I saw was a big waste of time. I would never repair a car like that. Uh, I would never want to drive a car that was repaired like that. Everything that I repair, I drive myself, um, sometimes for a few years. So I want it to be as safe as it was when it was built. And that's my goal is to make the car as good as it was before the accident or better. So with this car, I could have taken every single one of those panels I changed apart individually and put them all back in the exact way the factory did. Uh, nothing on this car was spliced. Everything was put in in its entirety. Um, the frame rail uh, on the top was straightened a little bit, uh, as with the floor, and the bottoms of the frame rails were in the right spot. Everything lined up, so we were good. But back to the body panel. I put it in one big piece, and it's a big pain in the ass, to be quite honest with you. But it's still better than drilling it all apart into little pieces. And when you're putting it in, you can measure it one time. If you get it in and it fits, it's pretty close to where it belongs. Um, because you've had to struggle to slide it between other panels, over panels, under panels, between panels. And you're doing all that and it takes a while. So once it's in there, you might only have to move it a millimeter in any direction to get it to line up. And what I did was the car I took it off of, which was a complete car before I cut that back, the silver part off of the other car, I took measurements so that I knew when I put the new piece in where I should be. So I slid the piece in, measured everything out, clamped it up, welded it up. Uh, I do leave a lot of the measuring out um, basically because I have to set the camera up where it's not going to be in the way of my work. So you don't get to see the close-up stuff and it's just a lot of measuring. Most of it you can't see. A lot of it you miss, so it does get left out and it's kind of boring. So I do skip that. But trust me, I do measure everything I put in. I don't just guess. That's how you end up having to redo stuff. Because the last thing you want to do is guess, weld it all up, and then find out that the tailgate doesn't fit or the bumper doesn't fit. And you got to start taking it apart to make it fit or who knows what. It's just easier to do it right one time is the way I look at it. You know, spend five minutes here and save yourself hours later. One of the other things I learned that I was doing wrong was the editing. I started making these videos and trying to get the resolution up. The frames were getting smaller and smaller and it was really hard to view on mobile. So one of my viewers told me about it and I went back and fixed it. This video was edited already and it was the old style with the music playing in the background and just the job. So I did the voiceover and I've added this part to it. Thanks for pointing that out. I fix cars, video editing stuff is kind of new to me, so I don't know everything. Hopefully I'm learning and hopefully I'm getting better. It gave me a chance to kind of update this one to the new style. I hope you like it. Let me know how it goes. My next video is gonna be a little bit shorter, but it will include me doing bodywork and paintwork to prove I can do it and to remind myself why I don't do it. I lost interest in it about two minutes into doing the bodywork, but I got through it and it's done. If you like it, I can't guarantee you're gonna see more of it. I really didn't like doing it. Turned out good, but I just don't like doing that kind of work. Let me know what you did and didn't like about this video I can update it on the next video because the video after that's gonna be a big one and I want to have everything you guys want to see in that video it's gonna be a long one let me know if you want me to do it in two parts or you could sit through possibly a 20 minute video it's a big job a job that most shops would never even do let alone just your average guy fixing cars it's uh, a job I've never done before it turned out fantastic I'm gonna go into a lot more detail I got a lot of video of it up close before I took it apart so you could really see what I was dealing with so keep the comments coming since the G8 video this is the first one that, that I've tried in this style if I got it right let me know. If there's still something I need to change, tell me and I'll do what I can. If you want to know what's coming up for my future projects, follow me on Instagram. I post a couple weeks in advance. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next month.